Hey, hockey fans, the New York Rangers have called for the firing of NHL head of player safety, George Peros. Now, you guys know I'm a Canucks fan. I rarely vlog about teams other than the Vancouver Canucks. But this story has caught my eye, obviously, since last night. The Washington Capitals, New York Rangers melee with Tom Wilson in the middle of it. And then I was astounded by the by the happenings of today. So we know last night in the second period, big brawl. Wilson punches Bujnevich in the head. Uh, Panarin jumps on Wilson's back and uh, amidst the scrum, um, while the scrum was happening, Wilson basically slams Panarin to the ice, almost head first, but Panarin was able to at least get his shoulder down first and absorb some of the blow. And then a couple extra punches to Panarin's uh, head to good measure, for good measure. And now Pan Panarin's going to miss the rest of the season with a lower body injury. You don't know exactly where it occurred, but... It, it just didn't look good, the whole thing. Then Tom Wilson's sitting there flexing in the in the penalty box. He only gets a double minor and a 10-minute misconduct, no game misconduct, no no major penalty even. And then today, he's fined $5,000. But the $5,000 that he's fined is for punching Pavel Buchnevich and not for his actions against Artemi Panarin. Now, I want to read you the statement in full from the Rangers. It's just a, a couple paragraphs long. But it's so strong and it's unlike everything, anything I've seen recently. So it goes like this. The New York Rangers are extremely disappointed that Capitals forward Tom Wilson was not suspended for his horrifying act of violence last night at Madison Square Garden. Wilson is a repeat offender with a long history of these type of acts. And we find it shocking that the NHL and their Department of Player Safety failed to take the appropriate action and suspend him indefinitely. Wilson's dangerous and reckless actions caused an injury to Artemi Panarin that will prevent him from playing again this season. We view this as a dereliction of duty by NHL head of player safety, George Peros, and believe he is unfit to continue in his current role. Wow. Talk about the proverbial mic drop. There's so many things, you know, extremely disappointed, horrifying act of violence, repeat offender with a long history of these types of acts, shocking, reckless, dangerous, dereliction i had to make sure that that indeed means abandonment so and basically the rangers are indeed calling for george paris to be fired as the nhl head of player safety wow 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 um i i know that washington's fighting for the top of the division lead the rangers are are battling for that fourth spot so there's there's a chance that these teams might even meet in the playoffs. You know, obviously Pittsburgh's in there too. Philly's, I think, in, in fifth. Um, look, on the outside looking in, you got Boston there too. So there's a lot of good teams, obviously, fighting in that uh, in that division. And, of course, the Islanders as well. So actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure where the Rangers are. I should have looked that up before I started. But the point is, these two teams have been playing each other throughout this year. And I'm not sure the Rangers can qualify to make the playoffs, but regardless, this is going to boil over um, when the, if they end up playing again and if they as, as they go forward. But regardless of what happens, you know, uh, with respect to Wilson, actually, let's talk about Wilson for a sec. I think that um, you you could probably argue that almost every team would want a guy, maybe not Tom Wilson but would want a guy like Tom Wilson on their team. He's got skill. He's been playing on Washington's top line. He's obviously tough. He can fight, but he he walks the line and crosses the line. Not just walks the line. He crosses the line on, on a lot of these type of um, incidents, and he's just been suspended many, many times before. So if you're a New York Rangers fan, obviously you're upset that Panarin is gone for the rest of the season. You're upset that Wilson wasn't suspended and overall, it, it was, as they said, it was a really, really, in their eyes, a horrifying act of violence. If you're a Washington Capitals fan, you're glad that Wilson didn't get suspended. You are glad that Wilson's on your team. And and you are, I, I've seen Capitals fans blaming Panarin, almost suggesting that he had it coming for jumping uh, Wilson from behind. Let's be real. Panarin wasn't going to do any damage to to Wilson from jumping on him from behind. It's kind of like when one of your kids jumps on your when one of my kids jumps on my back. Well, not now. They'd break my back. But when they're little, like uh, it, it wasn't going to make a difference. It wasn't going to hurt Wilson. Uh, Capitals fans are blaming Bucinavich for coming in and running the goalie, which which I'm not sure is, is the case. And of course, Rangers fans come back and say, well, that still doesn't mean you should punch Bucinavich in the back of the head a couple of times and then obviously um, dangerously wrestle 
uh, Panarin to the ice. So it's so crazy. It's uh, it's it was just nuts and a, an incredible scene last night and almost incredulous today. I'm incredulous that that Wilson did not get any supplemental discipline. What's really interesting too is how NHL players. Um, ex-NHL players are commenting. I've seen guys like uh, Whitney and Matthew Barnaby saying that, um, you know, that what Wilson did was fine and that they agree that shouldn't be any more supplemental discipline where a guy like um, John Scott, a well-known uh, enforcer and fighter, was one of the first ones I saw that he couldn't believe that Tom Wilson didn't get any supplemental discipline. So um, you've got players on opposite sides of the argument. You have... You have um, fans, obviously, uh, on opposite sides of the argument. And then uh, the biggest thing is the Rangers come out with this statement, not pulling any punches and, and calling for the job uh, of George Peros, which is, which is pretty crazy. I guess the last part of this story, what's interesting, is some people are even thinking that the Rangers are going to get a heavier penalty, a stiffer penalty for their, their statement than, than Tom Wilson is going to get. Um, in supplemental discipline, which sounds like none, right? No, because he got that. Well, he got the five thousand dollar fine, but that again, that had to do with roughing up Buchnevich, and it had nothing to do, at least in writing, it had nothing to do with Artemi Panarin. So imagine if the Rangers get whatever a fifty thousand dollar fine or a hundred thousand dollar fine for basically, uh, you know, throwing George Paris under the bus. Um, it would be almost ironic if if the Rangers get a stiffer penalty than. Tom Wilson. So many things. So whether you're a Canucks fan, which is probably why you're watching this, if you're on my channel, you're used to me doing Canucks stuff, or uh, just a hockey fan overall, or a Capitals fan, or a Rangers fan, I want to know what you think. I want to know what you what you thought about the hit, the the melee last night. I want to know what you thought about the five thousand dollar punishment fine to Wilson this morning, and I want to know what you thought think about this Rangers statement. So that's where we've gone from. From the actual incident last night to the announcement of the $5,000 fine this morning to this New York Rangers statement this afternoon. Lots to talk about. I would love to know your thoughts um, and, uh, you know, pun completely intended. Don't pull any punches. Let me know. Keep it respectful if you can, but let me know what you think about this whole situation and of all three things. The, the incident itself, Wilson's punishment this morning or lack thereof and the New York Rangers response today calling for the job of George Peros. Leave a comment below. I love to read, react, and reply the best as I can. And don't forget, for you Canucks fans, I'll be doing my post-game live stream at 10 p.m. tonight after the Vancouver Canucks once again host Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and the Edmonton Oilers. So, hope to see you then. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Become a member of this channel if you'd like to. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves. Ugh, excuse me. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.